Hey guys, welcome to an episode of Getting School. I know, what an arrogant term. You're probably thinking, who the hell does this guy think he is? Don't be angry, because we're going to make you happy. We're going to make you learn something, and we're going to teach you something. We're going to make that light bulb inside your head glow with knowledge. Now this episode's topic is global warming. I know, our poor planet has high fever these days. Most of us know what global warming is. Some of us are worried about it. Some of us protest about it. Some of us are relaxed about it and don't seem to care about it. So, whichever opinion you might be having on it, you ought to know what it actually means. So, in this video, we're gonna see how the whole process of global warming takes place. First of all, you need to know about two terms, fossil fuels and greenhouse gases. Now, fossil fuels are nothing but energy sources used in vehicles and industries. We all know that. Examples of them are coal and petroleum. When we burn these fossil fuels, they emit greenhouse gases. One of them is CO2. Now, these greenhouse gases are a huge red sign or a green sign for life, depending upon the amount that they are present in the atmosphere. They are needed for the existence of life. Too much of them can lead to extinction of life. Fossil fuels, greenhouse gases, extinction and existence. You're probably thinking, what the hell is he talking about, right? Well, let me explain. Let's take a fossil fuel, such as coal. We use it in thermal power plants to reduce electricity, right? Now, when we burn this coal, it releases a number of greenhouse gases as a waste product and we release them into the atmosphere again. Now, greenhouse gas can be defined as simply as a gas that has high affinity for radiation. That means it can store heat. Now, under normal conditions, there are always a small amount of naturally formed greenhouse gases present in the atmosphere. So when the sun supplies energy in the form of light and heat, some of this heat is absorbed by the surface of the earth and most of it is reflected back into the atmosphere. Where this small amount of greenhouse gases that are present absorb some of this reflected and heat energy, just enough that is required to sustain life. And the majority of the remaining sun's radiation is scattered back into the space. But what happens if there are more greenhouse gases in the atmosphere? The remaining radiation would be absorbed by these greenhouse gases instead of being scattered back into space. So the more greenhouse gases that there are, the more hotter our atmosphere is going to be. But what if there are no greenhouse gases at all? Then the incoming radiation from the sun will almost entirely be reflected back into space, with only a small amount being absorbed by the Earth's surface. This could lead to an ice age event. As temperatures would fall below zero degrees because there are no greenhouse gases in the atmosphere to store the incoming heat from the sun. So no greenhouse gases means the temperatures on Earth will fall to around minus 20 degrees Celsius, which is not suitable for life. But no need to worry about it, because our planet will always have some greenhouse gases in its atmosphere due to naturally occurring processes in the volcanoes and at the ocean floor, which will maintain the Earth's temperature around 15 degrees Celsius. But what we do need to worry about is the excess amount of greenhouse gases we are dumping into the atmosphere, which are going to cause drastic change in the weather patterns around the world and will ultimately lead to climate change, which will be disastrous for life and earth. So that's how greenhouse gas emission proves global warming is real. This is the most simplest, basic and most obvious evidence out there that proves global warming. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Hope you guys learned something. See you next time.